This procedure is to show how to properly fill a syringe using a Semco cartridge filling system. Um, I've got a Semco cartridge here which I've pre-filled with material already. I've installed the piston to the desired location and I simply filled this cartridge uh, through the nose with a small funnel and I then attach this adapter which threads into the nose end and has a lure connector on the end which I can install a tip cap to. And it's got a, an end cap on the end so these cartridges can be pre-filled in, in advance. Um, at this point I'm just going to go through and install my cartridge now into the filling station. I'm going to remove the end cap. And install my cartridge. Remove the end cap. And this end connector simply slides on and will twist lock into position. So we're now ready for dispensing. I'm going to go through and take off my tip cap now and install. I have a 90 degree lure to lure connector here which will accept the syringes that I'm going to fill. I'm just going to start installing that and I'm going to leave it in the down position at this point. I want to go through and just dispense a little bit of material. I'm going to start with a very low air pressure. I've got a regulator here that'll that you can adjust the air pressure to the to set the material flow. I'm going to start with a low pressure and just try and purge the air out of this connector and make sure I'm going to get a nice air free fill in my syringe. So I'll just dispense a little bit here. If the air pressure is a little bit low, you can turn it up slowly. Okay, there we go. I'm going to turn this in the upright position now. And now my syringe. Here I have a 30cc syringe which I have pre-plunged a piston into the bottom of this syringe with this installation tool. So the piston is already in the syringe and down at the bottom. And what I'll do at this point is just simply attach my syringe to this adapter and I'm now ready to fill. As I inject this material into the syringe it'll push the piston back. I've got a gauge tool here with a line on it that I can install into the syringe and it'll tell me when I'm at the correct location and the syringe is full. At this point I'm just going to go through and dispense into the syringe now. Again you may need a, a slight air pressure adjustment here just to make sure you've got enough pressure to push the piston back. And install my gauge tool here and this will tell me when I'm full. Okay that's good. Remove my syringe. Install a tip cap. Install an end cap. And I now have a syringe that's air free and ready for filling or dispensing. Um, I've got another 30cc syringe here that's ready to be filled. At this point you can just continue to go through and fill syringes one after another until your cartridge is empty. I'm going to go through and just fill another one here. gauge tool here. Okay, that's full. Again, I'll just remove the syringe, install a tip cap, end cap, and again another syringe uh, ready for dispensing.